rush so I couldn't um, introduce a video and tell you guys what I'm doing etc but as you can gather from the title it is uh, what I eat in a day this time I'm gonna make sure I do it properly okay I promise so I'm gonna basically just take you through what I'm gonna eat for the rest of the day I'm basically gonna be showing you guys what I eat for the day as the title says um, you've seen my breakfast which was just porridge which is really nice and filling I love having porridge for breakfast because it just fills you up for such a long time. I had my breakfast, I think, half eight, and it is now 11.30, and I just got back in right now, literally 10 minutes ago, grabbed my camera, and I was like, I swear I was doing something today. Yeah, I was filming a while in a day. Anywho, it's lunchtime now. Um, I want to have some of yesterday's leftover food, which was spaghetti. Um, I don't think I had that much of it last night because I wasn't that hungry. So I was like, yeah, I'm gonna have it tomorrow. So I don't have to cook anything. <laughs> Lazy, I know. Um, but I will accompany that with some chicken strips I'm gonna put in the oven, like chicken tender strips, I don't know. I'll show you guys what they are right now. Um, that's basically what my lunch is gonna be. Some of that spaghetti from yesterday and some chicken I'm gonna just pop in the oven right now. I'll take you guys through that, okay? Come with me. <laughs> okay, so this is the chicken that I um, was telling you guys about. And it's basically just these, um, what does that say? Flaming chicken tenders. Yep, yeah, that's what they are. And that's what they look like. And these are from Costco. If you are wondering, um, you got them from Costco. And I'm basically just gonna get, I think I need to put the oven on first. That'd be a good idea if I wanna cook them. I'll take the oven on. I'm just gonna take this, um, which is just a oven tray thing. I'm gonna pop, by the way, this is what they look like, if you haven't seen them before. Okay, so I'm gonna take about three, three, I think three is good enough. Yeah, three is good enough for my lunch because I'm having spaghetti, don't forget, so I don't have too much. Okay guys, so while that gets done, I need to fill my water bottle up. This is a 1.5 litre one, and I usually fill this up every single day without fail. I've been doing this for like three weeks, four weeks straight, and I've seen a massive, massive difference in my skin. When I tell you my skin is glowing, it's not just the highlighter that's doing that, okay? It's the glow from within, obviously, and highlighter too. But um, I haven't had a lot of breakouts as I usually do. Um, I think that's partly due to my skincare routine. Obviously, I'm partly to do with the water that I'm drinking so much. So 1.5 liters, I try and do two liters. But if I finish this, I'm happy because I've drunk one and a half liters, I'm happy. I try to aim for two liters. If it doesn't happen, it doesn't happen. But 1.5 has to happen. So this is my aim for the day to finish this bottle. And I'll show you guys my updates basically <laughs> as I'm going along. So here is my chicken, it's just come out of the oven. So what I'm gonna do is just go grab my spaghetti, warm it up in the microwave, and then I will chuck them together and just sit down and do some work. So this is the leftover spaghetti from yesterday, which smells amazing. So there's my chicken tenders and my spaghetti, so lunch is served. I'm gonna just go and go with some work now. So 
Okay guys, so it is nearly dinner time now, so it's time to prep dinner. It is four o'clock and this is around about the time I start making dinner. I've just been working all this time. I've been editing videos because I'm going on holiday next week. So I need to have like videos ready for that. I'm trying to schedule videos. I'm trying to so that they can go out whilst I'm out there. But um, yeah, I've edited a Primark haul and that should be going up tonight. I've done that in one sit down. I have never edited a video in one sit down because I'm just like so fidgety. <laughs> I can never sit still in one place for longer than like 20 minutes or 15. Anywho, so that's done. That should go up tonight. So if you haven't watched it, link is in the description bar below or I'll put up a little eye on the screen here. So you guys can click on that to um, take you straight to the video. So I'm going to be making something really, really simple and easy. It's going to be a curry, but it's going to be the easiest curry you've ever made because You'll see, right? You'll see. I'm using a jar and I am never one to use like curries in a jar because I just feel like they taste bland. I think I've used the wrong ones in the previous. Yeah. Um, so the one I'm using today is from Aldi. I'll show you guys what it looks like. It's amazing. Amazing. It literally tastes like a takeaway. Whenever I order Indian takeaway, like a chicken curry or whatever, it tastes exactly like that. I'm almost convinced, almost convinced that these takeaway shops use these jars because it's just so easy and cheap. Anywho, my arm is hurting. I feel like I've been in this kitchen all day. Maybe because I have. I've just been um, sat down on the table so that I can just get my posture straight instead of sitting on the sofa in the living room. So I've been sitting there, getting my work done. Literally been in the kitchen all day. Oh my God. <laughs> um, but yeah, guys, that's basically that. I'll show you guys what I'm gonna make for dinner. White rice, which is super easy, boiled rice. I'm not going to show you guys that. I'll just show you guys the chicken curry process so you can thank me later because I'm not about to stand on that stove for about an hour and a half making curry from scratch. No, I had too much of a long day for that. So, yeah, if you guys want to see what I'm making, then come with me. Come. <laughs> this is the jar I was talking to you guys about. This is from Aldi, I believe, and is one of the specially selected ones. Um, I think in Lidl it's the deluxe one. Anyway, this is so, so nice. This is my favourite one by far. I bought like five of these already. Um, <laughs> yeah, it tastes so good. And it says hot and fiery curry sauce. So basically, if you can see the top there, let me just see if I can focus is got a spice and what you do is basically get an onion, fry that, put your chicken in, fry that for a little bit and then add the spice to coat the chicken and then add the jar and you're done. That's it. Literally you can garnish with whatever, whatever you want but this is quite hot for me I think. I don't know about you guys. You may be able to handle hot curry more than me but yeah that's basically that. I'll show you guys how I make it right now. Okay. So I've got my onion in here guys and basically this is a little hand um, blitzer, you do it manually, you just move this thing and it chops up the onion. So I'm um, going to just pop the onions in. Okay so I'm just going to saute these onions for a little while until they turn translucent in colour and they go a bit golden so I'm just going to do that for a while. Okay, at this point now, adding a little bit of salt, not too much, just enough to help them go translucent. Because the jar will already have like salt and everything, you don't want to do too much. Once the onions start to look like that, what I do is just take my chicken, which looks like this. I've drenched it in black pepper and uh, lemon last night after I um, cut it up in small cubes. So I'm going to pop the chicken in. Okay, so now I'm just gonna basically fry the chicken, not fry it, but you know what I mean. I'm just gonna cook it until it's no longer pink. Okay, so once the chicken looks like that and all the excess water has drained and it's basically thoroughly cooked, what you're gonna do is now add in the spice. So that's what the spices look like. So now I'm just going to stir it, stir, 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 and then make sure the chicken is fully coated with the spice, each individual chicken. So now what I'm going to do is just cook this chicken for about one to two minutes until the 
raw smell of the spice has disappeared and it just smells fragrant. So it's been two minutes and um, now I'm going to add the sauce from the jar. Obviously that's not finished so I'm going to rinse that with water and come back. So just going to be stirring quickly and then pop the lid on and leave it to cook for a further like I don't know 15 to 20 minutes until the chicken cooks in the sauce. So this is what the finished um, product looks like. It smells amazing. I wish you guys could smell this. But yeah, I've got my white rice right over there. I'm gonna just serve up and it's basically time to eat. So the curry is now done. I have so many dishes to wash right about now, but I'm just gonna wait for everyone to be ready. Then I'm gonna serve it up and that's basically dinner for tonight. Yeah, it is about 5.30, I am not that hungry yet, um, maybe because I've been filling myself up with water, but right now I'm about to have a cup of coffee and Snickers. Yeah, I'm having this Snicker bar, size of half of my hand, it's not that massive, um, and a coffee. That's my snack, and I'm gonna carry on working. Also, I thought I'd update you guys on how I'm going drinking this water. That's how much I've drank, which isn't bad, right? I haven't got much to go to finish one and a half liters. Then I'm gonna fill it up like halfway so that I can do two liters, inshallah. But yeah, thought I'd update you guys whilst I have a snicker. Okay, so this is what it looks like on a plate with my rice. And yeah, that's basically that. I just have some white coconut rice and the curry that you saw me make i hope you guys have enjoyed watching this video because after this i probably will only have like some water until i go to bed and some fruit oh i'll show you what fruit i'm going to be eating later on okay just come with me i'm not going to show you guys my fridge because it looks like a tip when i tell you okay believe me just believe me so I'm gonna be having some of these delicious mango chunks. Oh my god, these look amazing. I'm literally like stopping myself from just grabbing one and putting it in my mouth. But what I've done is yesterday we had two large mangoes from Aldi and I've just chopped them all up into tiny pieces and put in a container so that is nice and easy to eat. So I'll probably munch on this after I have my dinner. Um, but yeah guys, basically that i hope you guys have enjoyed this video and i'll see you guys in my next video goodbye this looks so weird okay bye